Wonder Hussy here. Uh, I went out to this amazing abandoned location last week, but it was a really windy day, so the audio came out horrible. Um, rather than just scrap the footage, I thought I would just do a voiceover this time and see how that turns out. If it bothers you or you just think I talk too much, you can feel free to mute the video and just watch the footage. It's pretty cool footage. Anyway, this is the abandoned Rockahula Water Park, right outside Barstow, just off the I-15 between LA and Vegas, about halfway up. You're driving through the desert. There's nothing as far as the eye can see but creosote and sagebrush, and then all of a sudden there's this giant water park off to one side. And it's like, who the heck or why would anybody build a water park in the middle of this barren desert? Well, the story is that there's an uh, underground aquifer in the area, the Mojave Aquifer, I think it's called, and they were able to tap into that to originally build a little lake. It was originally called Lake Dolores back in the 50s and 60s. Some dude built this little lake and it was kind of just for his friends and family to use at first, but eventually he opened it up as a kind of a campground and it was popular with like motocross people, dirt bike riders, um, water sports people, the little lake you could, I guess, water ski on. Um, but that went out of business, or they sold it, I guess, in the 90s to a developer who turned it into a big water park, thinking he could catch some of the traffic on the I-15 between Vegas and Barstow. I mean, you know how it is. Mom! Dad! Water park! Can we stop? That kind of thing. Anyway, the water park operated in the, I guess, late 60s, 70s. It was its peak of popularity, according to Wikipedia. But it ended up going out of business in the late 80s. I guess it just wasn't popular enough. Sorry about that. That was my friend who was there with me. Um, anyway, so the water park closed in the late 80s. But they ended up reopening it again in 95 uh, with this kind of 50s Rockahula motif where they played like 50s music and they tried to cash in on the whole Route 66 thing. That lasted a few years, but they just had all kind of financial difficulties. I guess it wasn't run well or frankly, it's a water park in the middle of freaking nowhere. So it's probably pretty hard to turn a profit on it. And then one of the employees, um, really drove him out of business by suing them because this guy went I guess there was this really big water slide the tallest slide in the park was called the big bopper but there was always a really long line to ride it so this one of the employees decided to go down it after the uh, park had closed for the day or before the park had opened for the day outside of regular business hours so that he could skip the line well he failed to notice that the catch pool at the bottom of the slide wasn't full enough of water. So when he slid down, there wasn't enough water down there to kind of cushion him. Look at this stupid graffiti. These graffiti artists. I'll more about that in a minute. Anyways, there wasn't enough water in the catch pool for this guy and he got paralyzed. I think he may have even been a quadriplegic for the rest of his life. So he won like a $4.4 million settlement against the owners of the park and that pretty much Drove them out of business. They reopened it one more time for a couple years and uh, I don't know, it just never took off, man. It's just too remote of a location. Anyways, I'm sure I got some of that information mixed up, but it's basically the story. If you want to really read about it, go on Wikipedia. They have really fascinating information online about this place. But I first became aware of it, well, driving back and forth on the 15, I would see it off to the side. Up there on the hill, that's where the big bopper was there. Uh, I would see it off to the side of the highway every time I drove by. I always thought, wow, what a cool place that would be to go inside. But I didn't actually go explore it until 2013. Um, I went out there with this photographer friend of mine. And we did a photo shoot. I actually went back another time with another photographer as well. And it was a great place to take pictures, especially in 2013. Because in that year, this really snarky graffiti collective called uh, Trusto Corp kind of painted the whole park and turned it into the Trusto Corp Funland Water Park with all this politically motivated art, graffiti, billboards. It was really cool. It was really well executed, really well done. Um, 
you know, as you can see and have seen so far in this video, the graffiti now is pretty weak sauce. Um, some of it's really colorful and nice, but some of it is just like, come on, man, really? What, are, what the heck are you thinking? But graffiti or no, it's just such a, look at how cool this place is. I mean, all these strange swimming pools that are just full of sand and debris. It's really surreal. I mean, honestly, this kind of reminds me, oh, there's my friend again. <laughs> I was trying to keep him out of the shot, but he was like following me around. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this reminds me of what Vegas is probably going to look like in about 20 years, because we don't really have a lot of water out here in the Mojave Desert, and, you know, if you've seen Lake Mead lately, it's down pretty low, so who knows, this could be a cautionary tale to everybody who lives in the desert southwest, you know? Gotta figure something out. But in the meantime, it is just a really cool, surreal place to explore around and look at and imagine the kinds of things that went on here back in the day. All the little family vacations and birthday parties. I mean, the things that went down here, probably a part of a lot of people's imagine their uh, memories and childhoods, you know? kind of spooky to walk around and think about. Now, there is a fence around this property with a no, pre no trespassing sign, so you gotta be careful going in here. Uh, the second photo shoot that I did here, we saw some kind of cracked out looking caretaker guy come down from the hill towards us right at the end of the shoot, so we just took off. Oh look, here's the old snack shack. Look at that. This is where they sold all the cheeseburgers, and there's the soda fountain where you can get your high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, good times. But anyways, uh, I didn't see any caretaker there. Oh, look at this. Fuck Trump. This was about a week before the election, so might be seeing a bit more of that kind of graffiti in the future. Who knows? Anyways, uh, we didn't see any uh, caretaker or security here this time, but I don't know. Be careful, because I'm not really sure what the legal status of the property is. I think another investor bought it, and I don't know if they're going to try to reopen it or what, but for now, it's just a graffiti paradise, and if you're brave enough to sneak in, you can get some pretty cool photos or videos. I mean, you can't really go wrong here. I've seen some commercials that were shot here. Like, I think a Mini Cooper ad was filmed here a couple years ago, and then, like, some skateboarder dudes, BMX dudes came out here and shot some stuff. So, I mean, it's pretty well known. It's like the best kept secret in the desert. But that doesn't really stop me from sharing it with you because it's so weird. I mean, look at this. A few of the slides are left here. Um, they actually sold a lot of the big water slides off to um, other water parks. I guess the slides themselves are valuable. So the big bopper slide where that one guy got paralyzed, they sold that to some theme park in Canada. You can still slide down it. But all the slides that are left here, I guess, were just lesser slides that weren't really worth selling or saving. I'm gonna go down here. Underground. Because you never know what you'll find below the pools. You ever want to go below a pool? Oh look, toxic chemicals. I guess that's where they stored all the chlorine. Yikes. Anyway, uh, for anybody who likes exploring abandoned places, this site is amazing! I mean, there's just so much old equipment and rusty old junk everywhere. It's just fascinating to try to figure out what everything was. The only downside is this graffiti is, can be pretty retarded, but hey, what are you gonna do? Oh, here's another one of the old snack shacks. This place, well, it's also got some semi-thought-provoking graffiti. I don't know, that's the worst kind of graffiti, the kind that pretends to be thought-provoking and it really doesn't mean anything. But anyways, if you go in here, there's a lot of detritus left over from when they used to sell, I guess, burgers, fries, hot dogs, whatever you would eat at a water park. I mean, you can see on the ground there's some um, old drinking straws. Um, when I came here back in 2013, I found some old wax paper that was lined like a french fry basket, red and white checkered. It's kind of cool, I kept it as a souvenir. But now it's just a bunch of drinking straws mostly, some old soda cup lids. You know, the kind of plastic that's going to be floating in the middle of the Pacific Ocean for the rest of all eternity. 
Also, some brat could drink high fructose corn syrup. Yay! America! Oh, look, off there in the distance, you can see the original lake a little bit. That's Lake Dolores. Um, what's left of it, anyway. I don't know if it used to be bigger back in the day, because right now it doesn't look like it's really big enough to water ski on. But I talked to somebody who used to camp here back in the day when it was Lake Dolores, and he said they used to camp out and party and water ski and just have a good old-fashioned redneck time. And this, I think, was like the campground side of the park. Like, over here by the lake is where the RV camping was, and then this was the bathroom for all the campers. It's a big, um, like, a commercial, well, not commercial, but a big public bathroom with a ton of toilets in it. But it's kind of cool lighting in here. Um, that's spooky and creepy. Nasty old toilets. Whoa. Toilet after toilet after toilet. Reminds me of going to the polling place during the election. Pick a booth. Same shit in each one. Now over here, this was the office where they ran, um, I guess they ran the whole water park out of here. It's a pretty straightforward office uh, out of the 80s, wood paneling, bunch of ugly, depressing office furniture. I mean, I wouldn't have wanted to spend my days here. Oh look, here's one of the old flyers from the water park. The extreme theme park. World's largest raft ride. Tallest free fall. Gotta check it out. I think that was the big bopper that they're referring to. So there's some of those old receipts or flyers left. There's some old receipts and all kinds of crazy junk strewn about here. But I mean, this kind of urban exploration going into an old office is really kind of the most depressing kind because when you picture people spending 40 hours a week of their lives sitting here, Sun Valley Lighting, the lighting company. Yeah, what a depressing life. I'm glad I don't have an office job. But whatever, somebody's got to do it. I'm sure some people like working in an office, so that's cool. It's more of the office building. I mean, it's really not in that bad of condition, but, I mean, the I think it, the park closed for the final time in 2004, so it's only been 12 years. It hasn't been that long. And it's the desert, so it's not like it rains a lot. Weather goes pretty easy on decaying structures. There's another view of the lake. Beautiful Lake Dolores. So peaceful, all alone in this abandoned water park. I mean, <laughs> there's me just walking along through one of the old lazy river canals. I guess back in the day you could park your ass in a big inner tube and just float along. I don't know if they ever served alcohol at this water park. It seems like it was kind of a family place. I'm sure you could like sneak a beer in or something. Some of the graffiti here is pretty cool and colorful, but I don't know. I guess it's all in the eye of the beholder, right? I'm a pretty big fan of and connoisseur of graffiti. And in my esteemed opinion, this place is pretty solid as far as graffiti goes. I mean, look, wow. So weird. This is one of the reasons I love living in the desert. So there's all these weird places like this to go explore. Beautiful things don't ask for attention. Free hugs, candy. Well, abandoned Rockahula Park. Till next time. I don't know if I'll ever do another photo shoot here, but it sure has been nice knowing you. Well, that's all there pretty much is to see here anymore. It's pretty busted up, and honestly, I don't know how much longer this stuff will be here. But it's pretty cool, and it's a lot of fun to wander around and explore. <laughs>